Hey guys, today I'm going to be bringing you what will hopefully be a short video. I'm going to be hauling some of the poetry that I have acquired recently. I have five different books to talk to you about today, so let's get into it. The first book I'm going to talk about is This Impossible Light by Lily Myers, and this isn't actually a poetry collection, but it is a novel written in verse, so I thought I would include it here. Lily's slam poetry has received a lot of attention on YouTube, and you may know her poem Shrinking Women, which has over 5 million views. This book is about eating disorders, body image, self-worth, mothers and daughters, and the scars we inherit from our parents. It's about a 15 year old girl named Ivy. Her father has moved out, her mother is withdrawn, her brother's going off to college, and her best friend Anna has grown distant. She's also getting taller and curvier with no end in sight, and this leads her towards one of the main themes of the novel, eating disorders. I haven't heard much about this book so far, so if you have read it, let me know down below what you thought of it. Books written in verse are totally my jam, so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. Next up I have Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. I'm a little bit cautious that this collection might fall into that category of like Tumblr poetry, but I'm gonna give it a go regardless. The reason I think it might fall into that category is just because the descriptions I've heard of it, it's poetry about heartbreak and love and it's even divided into sections. But Courtney is an LGBT writer and that really intrigued me about the collection. Hopefully I will get to it soon. Next up I have Bone by Ursa Daly Ward and I have heard a lot of praise for this collection. I don't know too much about the themes of it other than it's meant to be really visceral. The poet is of mixed West Indian and West African heritage, born to a Jamaican mother and Nigerian father and was raised by her grandparents in the north of England. So I'm really looking forward to getting to that one. The next two books that I'm going to talk about are probably the two in this haul that I am most excited for. Each of them is by one of my all-time favourite poets. And I'm going to start off with Plum, which is Holly McNish's new collection. This is a collection about growing up and what it means to change as we get older, what it means to be in touch with our younger selves. It's about adulthood, friendships, it's about work and play. I have loved all of the work that I have either read or listened to from Holly in the past, so I'm really looking forward to reading this collection. If you've not heard of her before, I think if you like Kate Tempest, you'll probably like her work. And the same can be said for You Sad Feminist, the new collection from Megan Beach. This is published by Burning Eye Books, and I was very kindly sent an advanced PDF to read. I've already finished this one, so I will talk about it in my July wrap-up. Laura Bates of the Everyday Sexism Project, or Movement, has called Meg one of the most powerful voices in young feminism today. I absolutely loved Meg's debut collection, When I Grow Up, I Want to Be Mary Beard. And You Sad Feminist kind of follows on with some of the themes in that collection. We're looking at, of course, feminism. We are looking at what it's like to be under a conservative or Tory government in the UK. And Meg makes some really intelligent observations about that throughout her poetry. But this collection also deals with Meg's experiences of having depression. How do you promote self-esteem when your own inner critic is always the loudest? How do you change the world when some days you struggle to get out of bed? This is a phenomenal collection and I am going to be singing its praises so much. So they are all of the books that I'm going to talk about today. Have any of these piqued your interest? Let me know down below and I will talk to you guys in a few days.